Hello, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are playing some Avengers today. Um, I decided I would want to celebrate this December. It's going to be Spider Month. Um, what that means is we're going to be playing a bunch of Spider Man games in the stream. And I'm, I want to start it off with Marvel's Avengers Spider Man. Um, we might repeat the Avengers game for every week and then we could transfer to Spider-Man PS4 um Spider-Man Miles Morales so especially Miles Morales because that's like a Christmas game so that's gonna be worth playing this month other than that um I think um I I only wanted to play Spider-Man games until the release of Spider-Man No Way Home on the 16th on the 16th I'm gonna be watching that um in the theaters that's gonna be exciting i can't wait for it um but yeah today we're just gonna be playing some avengers so let me get this set up working there we go there we go there we go all right some avengers where was i boom I had to buy. Uh, yeah, so we're going to shipments, 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 shipments. Hmm. Let's try to buy one of these. I don't know what that does. Ooh. Oh, now we get a rare outfit for Black Widow. Nice. Nice, okay. I like that, I like that, I like that. So, we're going to be doing some stuff. Alright, alright, alright. Let me just double check our stream. <laughs> just in case it's not looking. Ten eighty P Yeah, there we go. Ten eighty P is the best. Let go let go. Alright, alright. And back to our game. We're just gonna play cause so Spider Man is the only one that doesn't have um his own story chain missions. So there's no story stuff for Spider Man, which kinda sucks. But then again, that's what I was expecting from Avengers anyway, so. Yeah, they only gave us like one cutscene and then that's it. Several resistance fighters are trapped in the field. AIM is closing in on their position and we need you to rescue them before they're overwhelmed. Get Let's get that. Ooh, looking hot, bro. Let's go. I just want to unlock the humans caught in a standoff up ahead. This is not going to end well. So that's a spider drone right there. That's a takedown. I'm not playing with any other players, I'm just playing by myself at this time. I'm just ranking up. It's, yeah, it's kind of confusing with play with other people. I just want to rank up Fireman first. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I've seen this before, I've seen this before. Nice. 
nice, nice. Thor, hit that. Come on. So once the meter is full, you can easily do takedowns. We're losing, bro. We're losing. We're losing someone. Come on. Stuff is not really that great compared to the game itself, the Marvel Spider Man game. Which is to be expected, like, because they did a great job in that game, so. Nice. Bro, those stand around. There's a lot down here. Okay, that was the last one. Good job, Avengers. You saved our people so they can fight another day. The resistance will surely succeed with you watching their back. much more do we need for this? Uh, any revenues? It's by June. Okay.
let's just keep doing these missions. We've had word that AIM has sent bounty hunters into urban areas to search for inhumans. Some have been sent to Jersey City. It's imperative that you stop them. I will scan the area for AIM signatures and update your HUD. Be on your guard. Okay, he just flew... <laughs> okay, let's disregard that. Tell him what the map is now. There's a web swing everywhere in this game. So no, no. Inhuman down. Nice. Oh, wait, what? Bro, what? In every battle, there must be a sacrifice. So that's why they die. the worst part of this is like the inhumans were not even moving like they're just standing in a spot and that's it that's why it... oh jeez these pictures they ain't going on with this Face me, bro. Come on. Oh, hey. A team of watchdogs is in the vicinity. I sent their location to your home.
different molecules. He can, he can wall run, bro. Let's go. It's a it's so much clunkier than the event, uh, the Spider-Man game. Down, so I'll take down, bro. here One more, one more, come on. Where is it? Where is it? Ah. Okay, oh, there's two here. Some skills. Okay. Thank you, Ruben, for the like. Appreciate that. Appreciate that so much. Enjoy long. Enjoy long. Just enjoy the stream.
Where's the other objectives? I don't know if I'm paying the videos the right way, but this is how I do it. Just grabbing all the stuff. All the side stuff and then the main stuff. Like, I don't really need to do it. I don't think there is any boring work. Let's get those materials. Okay, what is happening here? <laughs> That's what I'm here for. It's the loot. That's right. My turn, my turn. Another bounty hunter is down. One more. Oh, this too. Bro. Oh. Open the cell. 
think it worked. One more, one more. Oh, I did. There we go. Excellent. The bounty hunters have been purged from Jersey City. Spidey, Spidey. Let's upgrade that upgrade. One more mission, another one. Oh, there's a mission for Spidey here? Hmm. Really?
Thanks for asking, Ocean. I imagine I really should. Sure. You got a second? Could really use an Avenger on this one, you know? Did I say thank you yet? Please, thank you. Oh, what is this? Hi, I'm Liz. Liz Allen. Peter's friend, sort of. It's complicated. Your dad's company Liz. is Allen Chemicals, right? Yeah. I, um, I tracked down the person who's been funneling their resources to Amy. It's... Roxon. It's yeah. Mark Roxon. Should I know who that is? He's my stepbrother. Been working as a junior be Roxon, right? since he graduated college, and now, well, now I guess he's selling out our family to Amy. Can't wait for that conversation over Thanksgiving dinner. We have to stop him. Any idea what he might have planned? Not a clue. I'll look into what he's been doing at Alchem, but let me know if you find anything on your end. We're going to fix this. Don't worry. Oh, neat plate. Yeah. So. Someone who wants to talk to me. Take your time. I'm gonna cry if they Be won't here. Give me life. Oh, that makes way more sense than my guess. Creepers? But they're my favorite. You're a creeper. Level fifty. Okay. The future in purple. God damn it. That mission is hard as hell. Oh, discovery mission chain. Where is it? Keep a vault mission. Okay. Where is the vault mission?
How nice is a vault machine? Let's find out. There's nothing. Nice. We can have a gauntlet. I really don't know what what the vault mission is. A shield vault, okay. Probably like shield shield missions. Is it shield missions? Because that's the only thing I can remember. Turns out Fury's got a backup of all S.H.I.E.L.D. data. Locations, agents, intelligence files. It's hidden in the secure... Oh, no. AIM was ready for us. All units, check in. Hello? Commander! Report! What is going on down there? They were! Agent! Agent, do you read? We lost the Agent signal. Agent Sam. Copy, copy. Jarvis, can you get anyone on the line? We need to know what happened here. I'll see what I can do, Commander. I don't understand. This area shouldn't be this heavily guarded. Commander! I read you. What happened? You all right? I'm pinned down. They're hammering our tank from all sides. I don't know what happened to the rest of the squad. We're blind out here. We're on our way. There's a tank. Let's get those agents out of there. Agent, any idea where this extra firepower came from? Patrol patterns indicate they're still unaware of our target. My guess is they were preparing to launch an operation from here soon. We'll put a stop to that. Shoot, oh wow. Thor, come on.
then meet up with the main unit. Yes, ma'am. Let's see if they manage to keep AIM busy. It's the event. There's a team trapped beyond the barricade. We can't get through. Clear a path. We can't let them stop us. We're trained for this. Teams in the middle of those aim forces, they need help and fast. Let's go. Yeah, bro, come on. to get to those coordinates. That voice, bro. Oh, <laughs> what a punch.
work your magic. You're safe My now. people need your help ASAP. Assisting those shield agents feels like the priority right now. I see them. Avengers? <laughs> Looks like you could use some help. Glad to hear your voice, Commander. We were taking down their signal jammers, but got overrun. You're not gonna believe this. Ames got Taskmaster's Merc station here. They've been overseeing the requisition of shield assets. Let's make his job harder, shall we? signal beacon. Yuri always had a plan for everything. I wonder if he saw this coming. You think he could have anticipated Ames' expansion? Yeah, he was it was unlikely. Shit, so. Yuri never wanted to get caught on prepared. Sure he was always five steps ahead of him. everyone else. There we go. Here we go. No sign of aim in the immediate vicinity. Good. Let's do this quick. Oh, you 
units check in. Wave incoming. We're holding them off for now. North side, push back. We're gonna need backup. On our way to you. Had a run in with some drones, but we're still in one piece for now. Keep us posted. <laughs> Entering the vault now. Okay, let's crack Fury's safe open. Let's go, let's go. Me para full. <laughs> Activate the main terminal to begin code verification. Oh, I saw some inside. Okay. Oh, I remember this. Authorized personnel to testing. Welcome. The vault remains intact. Create code verification to unlock the contents of the vault. Awaiting first code verification entry. Okay, we gotta find number three and number two. That's number two. Code verification required and designated and security station. Oh. Number three. This number two. So just want to say on floor, but there's nothing in here. I'm serious though, like what? One this is four. Number three is missing. For some reason we can't find it. Oh, he just grabbed it. Come on.
just like three steps into it. I'm fine with that. Chaos, let's go. Why am I doing that? Why do you do emos? Oh wait, I have a Join web blast the and a web spread. I didn't know I could change that. Okay. So let's go. One, two, three, five. Okay. One is here. Two. Let's go, number three, number three, number three. Code verification entry verified. That's on the other side. Oh no, more of them.
Give me the loot. got here first what no transfer complete please this isn't over that data is still encrypted but we can't waste any time we're taking the fight to taskmaster all agents engage find him Think you can give us a hand, Jarvis? Of course, Commander. Let me know when you have it. Get those upgrades. Learning skills. Next mission. Oh wait, the dip. Oh, I believe. Arr, this sucks. Dude, I don't think it. Yeah, it didn't do it. The vault discovery. Complete the vault mission. How are we gonna complete a vault mission now? That's what I'm thinking too. Okay, but I'm gonna search it out. So I guess we need to find a vault resource, which I don't know what that is. So I guess we can't do that yet. can do that, Dark and Rift. Map is bro, Royal 
Ronin. Let's go. Nameplate still. We're going to change our nameplate. It's gonna be hard as hell, I guess. Well, Yeah, for this weekend, we can actually. Um, I want to play some NBA 2K today, so I better do that after this. After this, from, uh, transfer to NBA 2K, continue the stream, you know. Oh, that's sick. Sick costume, man. Let's go. Hawkeye became one of my favorites, actually. Just because I'm watching Hawkeye, you know. <laughs> that series is doing a lot of things. A lot of great things, to be honest.
need some help here. I need some help. Is that what we're looking for? Like that big ass ship? That's such a great move, bro. Oh,
no secrets. So we gotta get out of here again, right? Let's go. Take a cap.
I try, I try, I try. Skills, skills. Yeah, the main difference between this game and Guardians of the Galaxy is Guardians has a lot of banter going on in between moments, so that actually helps out a lot. Because it doesn't seem boring, you know? It is over with, come on. What the hell just happened? They weren't recognizing my bottom part. So.
what's happening. Too much. We must learn more from the future if we wish to stop the creed of our past. I'll continue searching for more free battle sites. Thank you for your continued support. Right, so stick around. Um, we will transfer to NBA 2K after this. So stick around. Um, we're gonna stream more, and yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna update those. Uh, so yeah. Stick around and we'll be right back.
There we go, there we go. Oh, let me... No, 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 no. We're not gonna get copyrighted, so... Let's change that real quick. Real quick, real quick, quick. I'm gonna change it to eight minutes, and there's the whole thing. Please get down. There should be no. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. So right now this is like a fantasy league. Um the I think I played this one already in the stream, so you should you know we're just gonna be playing it. I don't really care. About Hello and welcome to Sunday. I, I don't really have a goal today on 2K. I'm just gonna play it. I'm just gonna play some of it and then we'll see how it goes. Not the start they were hoping for. They're in the so this war team, they were the champions well, of the, the previous season. They, really have um, failed to deliver this they are not performing well this season. I don't know why. I It's probably enough. because it I simulated like some of their games. Right they only the appear to be good when I'm playing them. The starters for the Golden State Warriors. At small forward, it's Thompson and Green playing the four. Then there's Stephen Curry. Then there's Brooke Lopez. And it's Allen in at the two. And Curry, already one of the legends of the sport, simply from impact alone. Bill, where do you have him ranked on the all-time point guard list? Hey, he's definitely on the Mount sure. Rushmore. You know, Magic's above him. I think Oscar's above him. But he's one of the best 25 players ever. And I think his legacy wound up being that he changed basketball. He changed the way it was played. Him and Clay, and the way the Warriors played, ushered in this sea change. Now we play basketball this way, and you go back and you watch. May I know say, may paniniwa la say. Nagla pag maganda ng laro ng Warriors. Kapag nilalaro ko siya. Pag maganda ng laro ni Curry in games, duke. Nagyari to tao buhay. No. Five points. I mean five points for him. Nagyari to tao buhay kaya na mo buwas. Magiging it's Curry. Di nga lang ng ano. Ang Celtics. Fires the three. Fires in the triple. Oh, didn't hesitate on the catch and shoot. I mean, when you have Tatum's ability and confidence, why would you hesitate? Curry against Davis. Curry goes in. To Allen, the three. Gallinari pulls it in. Boston's gone one for three from outside so far in this game. Then Gallinari and Jalen Brown. I don't know. Banco yata ni Jalen. No, no, no. Starter. The Cigarnet palab ka ng Gallinari. The lagi ko si Gallinet chao si ano? Rondo, Gallinet, and Pierce. No, I didn't do Pierce here. See if you can get your teammates started. Outside for Green. What a fine! What a fine, Baker. And last season, the first play-in tournament for the eighth seed. All right, Bill. That was something you suggested way back in 2007. You were ahead of it, clairvoyant, if you will. Yeah, I was pretty passionate about it too. I, I thought it was a way to spruce up the last 20, 25 games of the season, where you see you have more injuries. Nah, wrong cut. Wrong cut. Kind of jockeying for draft positions, stuff like that. And Every hey, no year, easy basket. No easy basket. That kind of find themselves for whatever reason as we're heading down the stretch. And in last season, it was New Orleans right before the pandemic. All of a sudden, we're turning into something. And a playing tournament, you know, it, it rewards. Bro, I played a whole Z right season I, I with this idea. Warriors team. It's the Warriors. crazy. That's why they were like undefeated for a while. And yeah, I couldn't get, let, let it go to waste. That's why they were the champs. I did everything I can. Shoots from 12. Here's Green. Pass to Thompson. Green against Gallinari. Out to Thompson. Shot clock at two. No. Man, that's a shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. 
That's not what I wanted. Okay. Boston trailing. Just under three and a half minutes elapsed here in the first quarter. Pass to Ibaka. Gallinari inside. Working on green. Just five to shoot. Here's Brown. And Brown with the stuff. Oh, my goodness. Brown finishes off the drive, not simply laying it in, but a message of authority on the dunk. And around the league, every team is looking for a big man with a high motor. Bill, who are some of the standouts in that group in your mind? Well, the big revelation last year was Bam Adebayo. I voted for him for third team all NBA. I really was, I thought he was the heart and soul of that Miami team. The same then Butler, I think Butler got most of the credit because he's the big free agent signing. And I think in the playoffs, people realize how good Bam was, not just as a rim protector, but he is a devastating screen and roller. And oh, great defense. What he does specifically, his, his stop start speed is just ridiculous. The <laughs> Come Celtics, on, it almost took them in that playoff series two games just to adjust to how fast <laughs> he's already go complaining from the bro. screen to just being at the rim it was almost like he was being fast forwarded and once they adjusted to that they were able to handle it better but i i've just never seen anybody go from the foul line to the rim faster than him. Sharich checks in for boston grant comes in for gallinari a oh, nice shot by brown his size, Dario can see the floor yeah, I, 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 I downloaded a roster that fixes all jump shots. No luck on well, some of them, but I prefer most of the jumpers that were in, that were created by this one. Curry's kind of different, but similar. Uh, Thompson, kind of different, but similar. Like it looks way better, and it uh, it shoots way better. Like when you're controlling them, they could, uh, they actually look like how they they would shoot in real life. Um, even the free throws, they updated a lot of the free throws for almost everyone, which I'm surprised they could they decided to do. Come on, Tatum! Come on, Tatum! He got to bounce back. And just got out of injury. Come on. Oh, come on, Gallagher. Outside Davis. I'll walk you down, Tatum. I'll walk you down. Outside, Brown. From deep. He can't get it to go. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. This game coming after a loss versus the Bulls. Hey, yeah. Stojakovic. Not quite sure what happened. Listen, I don't fall This is Baron Davis. Prime Baron Davis from the Warriors. They got Kuzma. Look at that. Um, to be, yeah, this roster includes almost every fan favorite, bro. I got AI on the Sixers. Um, Jason Richardson. Paul Pierce, Ray Allen, Kevin Garnett, uh, Prime Rondo. Anyway, Vince Carter, Trace um, McGrady. Uh, Scotty Pip. Uh, hold on. This was a great timing and coordination. Lays it in, coming off that. Play. I had a pow. Nah, damn, forgot about pow. That's all. Um, you got Shaq, Ginobili, Duncan. Oh, and he got um, fouled on his way up. TP. Um, who else? And it shows like the all the prime years too. Uh, we got Kobe, obviously. D Wade. Jordan, Jordan's actually in the uh, the Pistons team in this one, which I'm. <laughs> it's so funny. He's not doing well. He's not it's doing well. Two-part equation. I mean, he's be, he's be been invited to all-star teams, but he's not doing well. Cause he got we got KD, we got Giannis. So who the fuck is Jordan? You know? Pass to man. Team man. And there's the screen. Takes it in. He gets it in there. Oh, Casey. We Come see on, this Casey. Every night. He has the skill and versatility to keep a defense guessing. Dragic outside. 
here's Caldwell Pope. The three. Rebound yeah, I actually like the jump shots now. It's better D Brooks jump shot on this uh, created roster was was very very good, very very good. It was very clean. It's the one from 2K is very shitty. Can't even time it right. We've got a nine-second difference between the shot clock and game clock. Back to green. Oh, sweet move. Six to shoot. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Oh, this is the worst offense we've ever done. Can't get an open one. Here's man. Oh. It's off the mm, mark. No. And that no, 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 no. Warriors ahead, up by seven. And if you're just joining us, we played through one quarter in this one. And from what we've seen here from the Warriors, what's your take so far? Well, it seems like they went in looking to do damage from long range, and they faced little resistance. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? Plus, we got the rookies, too. We got Lamelo, we got Edwards. Um, who else do we have? Well, when you've been struggling as he has, you love that your teammates have really stepped up and taken the challenge. What cutting drives in. This from close range. Uh oh. Did he change his mind on the way up? I think he did. There we go, Kevin. Next man. from downtown. Nunn's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. He drops yet another dive. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Pass to Brown. Let's the three fly. That's in there. Okay. Davis with the assist. Brown's got eight. Jalen Brown with the immediate answer from three-point territory. Yes, sir. And Bill, growing up with Celtics fan, you witness teams with great leadership. Who are some of the best leaders in the game today, you think? Well, it's different now because you have guys oh, yeah, we around got Steve and Nash, by the way. I think he's on the Clippers. Years, so it's almost like they're temporary leaders. I, I think when I was growing up, guys were on the same magic was on the Lakers. You know, from 1980 to 1991, and he was the unequivocal leader. And other guys passed in and out of oh, his universe. Oh, oh, oh. Now we don't see that as much. But I think you're just talking about somebody who's obviously a good leader in the right situation. Chris Paul, what he did in OKC last year with a young team that had kind of thrown in the towel with that Paul George trade. And it just seemed like, all right, well, they're going to try to trade him all year. They, they, they're not going to be good. And he kind of willed that team to be... <laughs> really good and they came really close to beating Houston in the playoffs and uh, so I, I think he's a good example of that out left to the wing there's the three Warriors with the rebound here's Curry and that's a foul called on come Stephen on Curry. that'll be a second foul of the game and, and in the last two possessions they painted this is what Curry was what playing on, to do. Just on Tuesday yeah. with the basketball and the Warriors making a Come switch on, here. Curry. Lopez is checked in. Now Davis. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Tatum's got room. Good. Third mm. basket in six attempts. Oh, well, Jason Tatum's form is pure on the catch and shoot. So nice. Curry against Brown. No, well, I should, sir. Oh, no, Bobby. Lang yara. It's Brown on the wing with the floater, and he takes Brown it up and Brown. lays it in. And now just a five-point warrior oh, lead. All right, Bill, of the guys you thought would become a superstar, who comes to mind that hasn't quite gotten there yet? Towns, Carl Anthony Towns. I think he has everything you'd want as the stretch five, somebody that can post up, hit threes, defend. The you know, they, there's so many guys like that in the league. If you half a handful. And I don't feel like there's any excuse for him not to be on perennial playoff teams because of the stuff he brings to the table. So if it's not happening, Bad it's his fault. Right that's it. Well, exposing a weakness in the defense, that's just way too easy, guys. Brown against Curry. Beyond the arc. That won't 
Rumah tira ni Curry nung muna eh. Laban sa si. Kaya sa matalo eh. Joke lang. Puro wild shot eh. Kaya siya kung mga opening eh. Curry finds Allen. Takes it inside. And it's Allen who slams it home. Just great offense. The screen freeing him up for the slam. Hey, without that screen, he doesn't get a clean look at the rim. Boy, that's a play you just practice time and time again, and that's the result of the work put in. Here's Brown. That ball. Dropping nice mid-line. speed that time from Tatum. Brown's got 10 points now, just in this quarter. When Jalen Brown is feeling it, I think you've got to feed him because you want his confidence to grow as that skilled scorer you hope he will be. Curry. Oh, oh and nah, makes it with the kiss. Man. Curry's got nine points. All right, Bill. What's the dumbest trade of the 2010s? The dumbest trade of the 2010s. The dumbest moment of the 2010s. And the dumbest thing that ever happened in the 2010s was Phoenix passing on Luka Doncic. Sacramento winning the lottery by having Phoenix pass on Luka Doncic. And then they say, screw it, we're taking Marvin Bagley. And then Atlanta winning the lottery again by taking the, the third pick. And they're going to take Luka Doncic. No, they trade it. They, they trade it to Dallas and get an extra pick. Congratulations. Three teams pass on the best player of his generation, Luka Doncic. You all, you all did great work. And it goes out of bounds. That one off Davis. And the Warriors making a switch here. Thompson like checked in. And we just got a second look there at an exceptional mobile one block. An emphatic rejection. you got to appreciate that kind of forceful defense to the basket and he drops in the layup off the glass Thompson's got his third basket on the night right there that's 10 straight points they've given up in the painted area huh. outside Tatum for three he knocks down the okay. triple they didn't do themselves any favors with their shooting in the first quarter but they're starting to pick it up now and here's none Thompson. Pass to Harold. Back to Thompson. Now Harold. Thompson outside. And he can't answer <laughs> back. The three-pointer offline. The Celtics have gotten seven of 12 shots to go here in the second. And that one's good. He's got 12. Yeah, and it speaks to Tatum's high IQ. He just knows when to pull up on a dime. Outside none. To Thompson, four three. Some walks on him, sir. And now he's four for six in today's game. You can see it. Once this guy gets his rhythm, he is so hard to slow down. What an excellent night for him and his team. Here's Brown. Can't hit that one. So Golden State will take it the other way. They've led by as much as ten. None against Brown. The three from Thompson. Boss man, man. <laughs> so man. many teams in the NBA establishing the three-point shot is goal number one on offense. He's definitely doing his part tonight. No doubt it's a growing trend, Greg, and he is I'm highly active. And a shout out to Bill Simmons. Man, it's great to have you on the show. It's great to be here, and I feel like this game has been playing in the background of my house for a solid year. So it's it's nice to actually join the game versus <laughs> Oh, what you appreciate about here. Bill, he works hard and has a wide variety of interests. Well, consider Kev Emmy nominated for his work in sports documentaries. <laughs> and he as a joke writer. Here is a guy who brings unique intellect and perspective to the conversation. There's 38 seconds left to play in the first half. Clean look from mid range. Coach will probably want to run that play again. And he lobs it up. Well, Jeremy Grant is becoming adept at how to finish the alley. Ooh, devastates the defense with a terrific look. 20 seconds left in the second. Thompson outside. Lopez in the post. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Deep three point. <laughs> and it's 
Oh, oh wow. I did not plan that, but it's a little bit. Grab the kick, Clay. Clay Thompson, we need you back. We got the new Warriors fantasy club. And we'll be right back after halftime to get the third quarter underway. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. We welcome you back. Ernie Johnson with Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Quite the tussle there in the first half, huh? Clay Thompson putting in some serious work for the team tonight. He Clay, ended Clay, up with Clay. 17 points and three rebounds. He's been a different player than he was their last outing when he was off his game. He's rounded back into form tonight. Taking a look at the Warriors, Kenny, what'd you think? Well, the three-point shooting was the key thus far. When you're knocking down those shots from the perimeter, it really spreads the floor. You demand respect from the defense. We'll see if they can keep it flowing in the second half. And Shaq, your thoughts on the Celtics? They didn't put everything they had to their defense, I'll say that. They allowed a shooting percentage of over 50%. That's a bad sign. Something they can't allow again in the second half. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final horn. Oh, buzzer. Second half of basketball is upon us, and we may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game we've seen so far. Jalen Brown oh, had a win. dominant impact in this game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. So on the floor for Golden State. At small forward, it's Thompson and Green playing the four. Then there's Brooke Lopez. Then there's Stephen Curry. And it's Allen in at the shooting guard position. What a move. And Lopez gets it to go. Lopez has gotten his first points in this one. Okay, Grant, in 1999, you joined Will Chamberlain and Elgin Baylor as the only players to have led their teams in points, rebounds, and assists more than once. Talk about what it feels like to be mentioned with those guys. <laughs> wow. B.A., I, I really didn't know that. So thank you for telling me. Uh, that, that is rarefied air to be in the same category and mentioned in the same breath as the great Bill Chamberlain and Elgin Baylor. Uh, I, I tell you, it humbles you. You know, it's in 1999, <laughs> I just felt like I needed to get there <laughs> and try to help my team become a championship quality team. And to look back on that over 20 years later and to know that from an individual standpoint, I was producing uh, alongside some of the greats to ever play the game. Davis, the pass to Gallinari. And the foul called hey. on Danilo. This kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. Davis against Curry. Thompson outside. From downtown. The rebound, Celtics. And the defense got away with one there. I mean, that's a shot he typically makes. Gallinari finds Brown. shot Thompson pulls it in Thompson's got four rebounds in the game and we're just about two minutes into the second half now stolen by Davis it's a one-on-one -on -one situation here's Tatum and out of bounds hey, let's go. and the three-point contest is one of the highlights of all-star weekends bro defense Here are some of the contenders who have a shot to compete in the event and perhaps that list changes a little defense. between now and all-star weekend go. but i would have no problems if those guys end up competing and you look at allen he occupies the top spot in voting we'll very likely see him in the three-point shooting competition and he might already be the favorite when he gets in a groove he's automatic and we'll keep you posted as we get closer to All-Star Weekend. But that's our current list for the three-point contest. It's going to be a fantastic competition. We've got an endless supply of shooters in this league, and that contest will be heated.
Davis down low. He's covered by Curry. Golden State has gone one for two from outside the arc in this third quarter. Inside. Shot from 12. Ah, I don't even know. Austin with a rebound. Ibaka's got five rebounds tonight. The Celtics have gone I just one of three in the second half. There's just been so many years of production from Serge Ibaka. He has been a double-digit score for almost his entire career and surprisingly has never made an all-star team. Left side Curry. Fires for three. And he <laughs> that was straight, bro. That day. was straight. <laughs> this defense just can't stay connected to shooters. They just can't stop this run. And honestly, the more empty trips they have, the more they feel the pressure. Austin again missing. Ibaka, a player you're surprised never got an all-star invite. B.A., I'm shocked. He's been on the cusp several times, but never got there. Regardless, he's always been central to a team's success. Hard to replace a guy in your lineup who gives you so much like Ibaka. To the middle. There's the block. Boy, great extension from Ibaka. His length always a factor. And he makes a first. Grant's checked in for Gallinari. Caldwell Pope's checked in for the Warriors. Drogic comes in for Curry. Harrell hits them both. Here's Davis. Looking at his production. Close to 12 time points time a game. Out. Time called here. The Celtics decide to talk it over. Yeah, they're hoping to turn things around with this timeout. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get it back. Let's see some of the numbers here for him. And a stat to focus on is his steal total over the last five games. He's been working on his defense, trying to be a disruptor, and it's made them a lot better on D. Here's Davis. Hello, how can you see me? Last he's going to knock down the three. It's really that simple, guys. That's tipped. Very awesome, bro. Animation. Out to the right wing. Here's Grant. Off target with the three. The Warriors have gotten four of seven shots to drop in the third. Jogic left side. The screen outside for green. Hey, expanding his range. It's rebounded by Ibaka. The Celtics have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Kuzma, that's good. Oh, that's a pretty bounce pass. Nice. Now here's Jogic. Averaging around five points a game. Green finds Harold. Dragic outside. It's stolen by Kuzma. I'm a man. Davis with it. I'm not Kuzma. I'm not a fool. Here's Kuzma. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Davis has got his fourth up, assist in this one. We do got that way. here let's take a look at the western conference standings now that the new year is upon us you take a look at the warriors currently seventh in the conference hoping to string together some more wins well i think for golden state they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings time will tell whether they can pull it off you know it's got to be frustrating for them you can't dwell on the past you've got let's to go. think forward let's go. together and play for one another well, what he lacks in size for a typical center, he makes up for with all that athleticism. Boy, can he elevate. Pass to Kuzma. And the foul called on Draymond Green. That's his first foul of the game. Green against Kuzma. 
All sorts of time. Another one falls for Boston. They're being put to the test, and he's doing everything he can to keep them in this game. Dragic outside. Pass to Green. Count it. Green's got five. Tenacity. It's the first word that comes to mind with Draymond Green. Is he the tallest power forward in the league? No. But can he score it? Yes. Here's Mann, defended by Dragic. To the left side wing. Oh, Dragion. Oh, it's amazing he chose a dump with that high a difficulty rating. Yeah, no question. That was a stellar move with plenty of swagger. Pass to Green. From seven. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was way off. have gotten six of 11 attempts to fall so far in the third. Pass to Dragic. 52 seconds left in the third quarter. Poke loose. Man Dragic. Dragic, Dragic. Here's man. Here's Saric. Launches it. It's rebounded by Golden State. Green's got six rebounds in the game. Fires from deep. It's hauled in by Sharich. Boston trailing. Shot clock and game clock. One second differential. And they can run out the clock here. No need to rush it. Well, it's trying to close the quarter strong. And by that, take a great shot without giving them an opportunity for another one down the other end. Come to me, come to me. Dragic with it. No problem. Buzzer beater. Come on, bro. That's wide open. They lead by seven. And we're just moving away to the start of quarter number four. Stay with us. is upon us. Thanks as always for joining us. Here's Davis. Brown and Tatum are the wingmen. Danilo Gallinari out there with Serge Ibaka. And it's Davis in at the point. That's oh, who's really? in the game for the like that. Tries again. And Gallinari finishes inside. He's got the size and strength. Gallinari doing work on the glass. Curry against Davis. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. They'll pin that one on Serge Ibaka. And, of course, Steph Curry wears number 30 in honor of his dad. And the connection doesn't stop there. Legally, they share the same name. Wardell Stephen Curry. Green's checked in for Harold. You know, the other comparison between father and son, Doris, the unbelievable shooting range. The range, VA, and the efficiency. The Curry's understand that on. taking a lot of shots doesn't help your team's cause. Making a lot of shots is what makes the difference. Here's Curry. And such a nice move to make that bucket one ball. One tie, sir. Is Curry's got 12 points here in the second nah, half. One more. Boston, they've gone two of three to open the fourth quarter. One minute in now in the fourth quarter. It's Davis with the drive. Okay. That one's good for two. Now. Davis has got four points in the quarter. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. This is a player who understands when the game is hanging in the balance. He knows it's winning time. Pass to Lopez. And it's mm. with the jam. What a pass. He 
fake and then let's go The Celtics have gone three of four in the fourth and looking confident on offense. Now here's Tatum. Screen by Ibaka. Tatum can't hit. The Warriors leading. Outside Curry. On the take. Pass to Green. Kick out Curry. Shot clock at six. The shot comes out. Excellent D there from Davis. And for the Celtics, they're shooting 47% on this one. Looking efficient. Hits the oh, yeah. yeah. I'll tell you, you have got to have a short memory. You put a poor first half behind you, and you get to work here in the second. Now Curry. Shot goes down. Curry's got six points <laughs> in the quarter. Well, you love the creativity that Steph Curry uses to get into the lane. Sometimes it's speed. Sometimes it's change of direction. Either way, it's effective. Outside Tatum. Back to Brown. Tipped. Lopez needs to hold down. Hey, let's go, Lopez. to green back to Allen outside Curry pass to Allen the three ball that sorry I'm sorry come on we make sorry Curry's sorry, got sorry. his seventh assist of the game with that last one Thompson against Tatum yeah, defense 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 Tatum draws defense, the defense, double. defense and here's Brown for three Evans, Evans, Evans. And Golden State will go the other way with it. Well, two long range bombs in the first, but that's stalled out right now. Yeah, and the defense is really good. Oh, Evans, 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 Evans. I mean, Evans, Evans, Evans. Oh, come points. on. Boston's got one of three to fall from downtown here in the fourth. Side Davis. Pass to Ibaka. Galadari for three. Gotta go back on Larry. And it's cleared by Stephen Curry. Curry's got four rebounds now. From deep. Hit him, he can pass. But he stays with it. And he drives in. And he's got a foul <laughs> all the way up. So he'll take two from the free throw line. Oh, it's off to Nilo There's a number of ways. Steph Curry can finish the basketball. He's got English. He's got touch. He's got just about whatever you need to draw fouls. And good on the second, so he makes them both. Boy, one area where Curry often doesn't get enough credit, Grant, his effort on defense. You know, B.A., he really does try on the defensive end. And he can be very effective against players his size. But he also brings that fight to bigger players, even when they try to post him up. Curry has heart. And first he foul, takes first foul. Seriously. Davis. Need to Outside, need to Brown. <laughs> to get. Clock at six. Gallinari with a screen on Allen. Good defense. Good defense. Brown can't yeah. hit. The Warriors have gone four of seven from the field in the fourth quarter. Takes a three. The shot won't fall. And it's Should Boston the other way. Either, Davis with it. Now guarded by Curry. Gallinari for three. They get it back. Davis. Puts up a three, and there's Thompson on the assist from Curry. I mean, Thompson, Thompson has great a score. I might have a pretty good going. It's in the under, so not going out there. Curry is a willing mover of the basketball. He doesn't get enough credit to me for playing the right way.
New Balance Player of the Game, Stephen Curry. Yeah, and this game really has his fingerprints all over it. He's been dominating and making it look effortless. It's always fun to watch someone just flat out take over like he's done here today. You know, after a long and painful streak of losses, they needed this pick-me-up. He showed that it's never too late to play hard and get back in the win column. Boston has gone one for five from downtown here in the fourth. Davis finds Tatum. Let's go with a three. The rebound by Allen. Allen's got his fourth rebound in this one. They've had a slight leg up on the boards and a big leg up on the scoreboard. And for the Celtics, they're shooting only 29% since the fourth quarter began. I think Brown demonstrating he's got a great understanding of the game. He keeps his head moving, his eyes open, so he can spot the open man. And here's Curry. Three-pointer. <laughs> rebound, Celtics. So good, man. Tatum's got five rebounds in the game. And Clay Thompson picks up the foul. That's his first foul. Tatum against Thompson. Now here's Tatum. Tatum with another miss. Up top, Curry. Checked by Davis. Davis against Curry. Oh, nice fake, but the layup's off the mark. You also got it on the top of the Johnny. Oh, no. That's in there. Davis with the assist. Oh, no. Okay. Wait, but the Apache. Okay, I'll zoom in with the Apache. Davis has got his fifth assist in this one. The three from Curry. Here's Allen. Here's the three. Oops. And that's good. Stephen Curry for three. Curry's got 11 here in the quarter alone. For the Celtics, this one not As usual, good. joke on Celtics. A minute 29 left in the final quarter. Pass to Gallinari. Jacks up a three. The rebound by Clay Thompson. My the Warriors have gone to 6 of 14 in this final quarter. On the attack, Green. On the wing, Curry. And there's the drive. And the basket is good. 30. Curry's 30. got 30. And the distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole 30. story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Warriors. Offensively, they made the most of their trips. They found multiple ways to score consistently, and a little luck doesn't hurt them either. They also got some nice bounces off the rim tonight, too. A nice shot by Brown. Well, this is where the powerful frame and explosive athleticism of Jalen Brown becomes a problem for the opponent. Nicely done. Curry against Davis. Grabbing <laughs> 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 him. Oh my God! The Warriors lead by 15. Stepping up and nailing an important shot to put this away. Yeah, playing with great energy and great effort. And Grabbing him and Curry. This from your team every single night. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. <laughs> I think that's the one thing every player is searching for. Consistency. They're giving this guy a chance to carry the offense once again. Boy, the consistency he's had tonight has been impressive. Really steady from the field. Curry against Davis. There's the triple. Get the shot off that time. And Clay Thompson yeah, picks up the I, foul. Oh That'll be a second foul of the game. We'll see that though. <laughs> we'll see that And so it's the Warriors. Their careers are they've been used to this one. They have to feel good about this performance. It's one they can be proud of. Very true. I mean, when you're out on the road, the winds can feel a little sweeter. This one has to feel extra special. And that'll do it, folks. For Grand Hill, Ali LaForce, and Doris Burke, and the rest of our 2K team, this is Brian Anderson signing off.
We'll see you next time. Thirty-two, bro. Yeah, that was a lot of time. I didn't know that was going to go in. Bang. Corey. Bang. Bang. So next, I'm going to be playing as the Lakers, my Lakers team. So this season, I'm, I'm mostly, I want to win with the Lakers this season. I don't want to, but they're, they're, they are much, much better. Okay. All right. I'm going against Kaminga, Bosch, and Jason Terry. Okay. A look at the Lakers as they got off the team bus after arriving at the arena. Yeah, they gotta improve his suits, man. Like those are the worst looking suits I've ever seen, bro. It's time for the NBA. And they do worse well, this now. To be a game that could be very they they have to update that. They got partnerships. They got sponsors. Why are they not using those? You can't just stand around and watch one guy go to work. I think that puts so much pressure on the defense mm -hmm. how the game is played. And an emphasis on coaching, too. Yes. Now let's check out our starters for the Los Angeles Lakers. The forwards are LeBron and Davis. Kobe is out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Deadman in at the five, roaming the paint. The first free throw is good. Hard to believe that Westbrook is in his 30s. Elite burst. He's still one of the more feared players for opponent. The Hornets on offense. They are coming off that win against Atlanta. And, and the focus was to get stopped. All game, they were right up on shooters, and that led to some big time rejection. This was their game plan going in. Make shooters. This bigger team is not all this power, too. The, the, the roster they had the year the before the this was way better. They were defeating me when I was using the Warriors, and outside Bosch, five on the clock. From downtown, we defeated them in the playoffs. So. The Here's Westbrook. Maybe Watson who was rookie. Next level stuff for AD. One of the great scores in the game. He draws the eyes of the defense and locates the open man. Now here's Terry. To Trent fires the three, and the three ball is good. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. And it's Westbrook with the ball. He brings it up for the Lakers. James looking around. He kicks it to Davis. And here's Kobe. Oh, it bangs on the trifecta. Both teams running perimeter oriented plays. Thank you, Thierry. You dead for the follow. Clubs Again, we are on the range. road to level up. Uh, we just need a hundred, but there's no really Atlanta. like an end date on it. I just want to reach a hundred because Outside, they do Kobe. allow me to. And it's the Lakers on the break. Kobe's got the ball. Here's James. No, that was what I wanted. Left side, Westbrook. Inside, Davis. There we go. If we reach a hundred followers, they would allow me to upload um, videos with better quality. Um, that way, we don't have to stick with 720p every time, um, 30 frames per second. Because I do have the the hardware for it. We have the capabilities to upload up to 4K, basically. But we just need to. Because 
Uh, with Facebook, they don't really allow anyone to just do that. Possession for his team. He'll create situations where he, he gets a mismatch or, or helps his teammate find one. You know, Kevin, LeBron will go. use his high going. screen to just kind of shuffle defenders. So once we reach 100 followers, we are on the level up. And we are able to do that now. End of close game. Um, Here's Jerry, which would be awesome. So I just want okay, <laughs> to, I just really want to upload videos. You know he liked that one back. They get it back. Katie, you should have dumped that. Come on. Davis has got his second bucket of the night. Beating everyone to the board using his length, his skill set. Oh, you know what I did? Why the Lakers are playing much, much better now is I fired Luke. Well, I mean, not Luke, but Frank Vogel. I fired him from like last season too then they did well then because they were on a like a losing streak with Kobe and LeBron and Westbrook and AD oh, Westbrook and we're just over three and a half minutes into the first quarter. The wide open look here for Jerry. And it's the yeah, Hornets no. another three. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the shot capable of doing a lot of damage on the spot up or the pull up. Jerry's got a great eye for that shot. Now here's Bryant. Coming off a solid outing against Miami. Yeah, nice, strong finish on the inside. But great, that's what he does. He's got the dunker mentality. Pass to Trent. Over to the wing. Kuminga. On the wing, Jason Terry. Back to Bosch. Down to five on the shot clock. It's Terry outside. A rebound by the Lakers. Eh. Outside for Kobe. Right side, Davis. High end passes to Davis. Shot from the low block. A shot that time, not on target. And the Hornets now going the other way. Nice pass in here by Charlotte. Bosch passes to Trent. Now the pass to the general. Fires from deep. Anthony Davis with the rebound. Lakers leading by five. Poke loose. Westbrook kicks to Davis. Outside, Kobe. Lead range. And the hoop for his third make from the field. He's three for four thus far in the contest. And the story here, Kevin, early on is how well they shot the basketball. And now the first time I've called here for the Hornets. Oof. Greg, how hard is it to maintain focus this time of year when you know you're on a championship contending team? You know, some of that I think depends on the leadership you have in your locker room. Uh, certain guys just keep everybody engaged and motivated. And, and you know what? You've got to break the season down in, into chapters to help yourself with the motivation because sometimes that season can you got be so THD in here Cole Anthony from last season as well the postseason um, we added Bledsoe and Hayward during the free agency. We basically got rid of a lot of people actually the Lakers. To use the current roster, so the current roster that we have right now in real life, that's what I got rid of. We just got, uh, we, I stayed with THT. I got, we got rid of Rondo. Uh, easy. Easy right there. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. Here's Olenek after the basket by the Lakers. Back to Rozier. Pass to Winslow. To stop the drought off the left rim and out. Not sure if that's the shot you were looking for, 
but it's a fairly clean look. Almost Come on. have to take it outside Davis. With the drive, score the basket. <laughs> That's AD, bro. One of his five shots tonight. They've been excellent so far, coming in with a well-balanced attack. Out, and it's helped them build an early lead. They just need to stay aggressive. And for the Western Conference, we have a chance now to recognize our Player of the Week, Anthony Davis. Well, he's been an absolute magician when the ball player is of the week. Huh? Yeah. There isn't any aspect of the offense. He has been a monster, man. Because in, in, in 2K, he doesn't get injured that much, you know. Then his play has been a vivid nightmare. Wow, great defense. Charlotte again missing. That is fantastic defense on one of the best three-point shooters in the league. Didn't give him an inch of room. Culver. He had 10 points in the win against Atlanta. To the middle. And Olenek gets it to go on the assist. Here's by Culver. I thought Olenek got hit on the release, but at his size, he just absorbed it. Two second difference between shot clock and game clock. Anthony taking his time here. On the wing, Davis. Olenek is covering. That was a good oh, shoot. And as the first quarter wraps up, already a double digit lead. Lakers lead by 11. And back with the start of the second quarter in just a moment. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And for the Lakers, this has been the game they wanted to have. Well, they've been aggressive from the beginning, particularly on the offensive end. And that has helped them build an advantage here, playing with good focus and good energy. Looking at Los Angeles, they took the win in their last game against the Heat at the American Airlines Arena. And a chance here presented by Gatorade to see who's on the floor. All fueled up and ready to go for the start of the second quarter. On the court for Charlotte, we've got Q. Olenek is out there with the general. Then it's Culver, and it's Rozier in at the one. And here is Los Angeles now. Following the bucket by the Hornets. Goes up the baseline. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It goes on Jarrett Culver. Great scores have this ability. Let LeBron get that close, that two points or a trip to the line. First one falls for him. You know, Greg, you'd probably know as well as anyone, what was it like going up against the Bulls in the 90s? You know, it's weird to say, but in a lot of ways, they were, we were a lot like they were. Uh, Hall of Fame talent at the coach, uh, a defensive-minded team, but... The one difference was, you know, the Bulls had that guy that wore that number 23. I think I'd say that might have been the one difference. <laughs> There's the killer two-handed slam. And He's once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. The shot's good from Gordon Hayward. When you look at Hayward now compared to when he entered the league, so much stronger. Ball's not loose. <laughs> Get that with out the of steal. Here. Here's Westbrook. Westbrook. By Westbrook. And there's the ferociousness. Gotta enjoy Westbrook taking flight and slamming oh, it I missed down out there Westbrook, bro. with authority. Hornets trail by 13. Never got those anymore. Here's Gafford. He played real well against Atlanta in that last game. Into the lane. Count it. Yeah. Good. Here in the second quarter, he's looking much more comfortable with his offense. 
Here's Westbrook. Outside Bryant. Let's it go from deep. Rebounded by Gafford. The Hornets have drawn a nice 3 of 3 to start the second. To the left side wing. A shot by Culver. Nobody around. Kept alive by Charlotte. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. And James throws it down. <laughs> Oh my god, bro. I gotta replay that. I gotta replay that, bro. <laughs> dude, dude had no mercy on... No mercy on, Ro on Scary Terry, bro. Like, look at this. He was the one who was scary, bro. Oh, he just slept. Yeah, he just he jumped midway. I thought there was gonna be another side step, like one, and then he just jumped. And oh my god! And look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. Look at LeBron. <laughs> the silencer. <laughs> oh, what a oh god! <laughs> oh, he just went. He just got caught in it. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Man. That was too funny. <laughs> that was savage, man. <laughs> yeah, this game is over. <laughs> this game is over. Hornets trail by thirteen. No way they they'll bounce back after that. And I wish LeBron was still doing something like that, bro. Oh, that's crazy. We can see that today, bro. A tough start scoring the basketball, but they're starting to turn it around now. Westbrook drives in, and they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. And I think the contact helps Westbrook. I mean, so competitive, this guy invites that bump. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Now here's Terry. He's got six, and Kobe Bryant gets the yeah, whistle. He's that time. He's That's his first foul. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Pass to the general. Rejected by Deadman. The seven four wings. No, no, no. Oh, really? He got that over Deadman. Lakers leading by eleven. Bryant looking over the floor. Can't get that one to fall. And Charlotte will go the other way with it. Terry against Westbrook. But they recover it. The pass to Trent. A second chance effort. And too long on the shot. For Los Angeles, they've gone four of six in the field here in the second. And one. And they call the foul. Hey, so he's got let's the go, bro. chance here to make it a three-point play. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. Lakers shooting the sixth attempt at the free throw line tonight. Not really where you'd like to be as a team in terms of free throw shooting. Just about 73%. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Dwayne Dedman. What is there to to say about you about that Allah. hasn't been said? One of the all-time greats who can completely carry a team. Here's the general. And Davis Except sends it back. No. LeBron kicks to Westbrook. Left side Davis. Westbrook. Terry with it. He has six. Pass to Trent. Puts it up from 12. Nice jump shot. Good. Then he goes to the got five points in the quarter. Lakers leading by 12. Here's Westbrook. Trying to get open as Davis. Makes it off the glass. And it's the fearlessness of Westbrook 
it's really refreshing to watch when he's deep inside he just goes right at you now here's terry passes to the general back to terry takes a three bryant with the rebound solid rebound there and with the score like it is that's an area where they can't afford to get lazy and there's the whistle on the shot took the foul shot misses he'll be shooting two <laughs> be and a bit the of foul the called on the charlotte hornets and this is his third trip to the line tonight no good on that one we know how important the draft is greg it can it can shape an organization talk about Come some on. of the best draft day deals of the last couple decades there have been a lot of them oh, there have been a few i mean just coming to mind here recently how about when Kawhi was traded to the spurs that was a, yes. a huge get go back sure to how about kobe going to the lakers uh mikhail and parish coming to the celtics i mean we've seen that happen quite a bit and, and i tell you what boy it, it can really transform a franchise's future davis sets a screen kicks it out to james to Davis outside Anthony five to shoot here's Horton Tucker offline with his three and there's Terry six points for him Olenek finds Winslow Charlotte moving it around Davis against Bosch there's the pass to Trent from outside the arc Score the yeah, five five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. Pick me. They're still behind, but not because of his efforts. He's been unbelievable this quarter. Now here's Anthony. He averages a bit over six points a game. Cool, Anthony, Good work there as it goes. And they repeatedly froze inside in the first half, guys, and, and it's paid off. And it's Terry with the ball for the Charlotte Hornets. They trail by 11. Bosch in the post, working on James. Winslow kicks to Bosch. Foul and wow. the shooting gets the bucket anyway. Oh, so I'm glad I didn't Chris Bosch. Yeah, they've raised their shooting percentage in this quarter, and they're starting to get on track. Culver's checked in for Charlotte. Terry Rozier comes in for Jason Terry. Kent Bazemore's checked in for the Lakers. Hudso comes in for Russell Westbrook. Lakers leading by eight. 127 left in the first half. Anthony can't hit. Charlotte has gone two for five from three point land since the end of the first. I don't know what they're having on Carmelo. I'm going to tell you Carmelo. Now Rogier, who provides a good amount of offense for the team, averaging around 11 and a half points a game. Lock at six. Here's Culver. Off target with his three. For Los Angeles, they've gone 7 of 11 from the field in the second quarter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. And Eric Lutzer, a special kind of athlete. And three separate knee surgeries in the rear view. But still so fast, his teammates call him Ferrari. The way he's built, a muscle car might he be not more fast anymore. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Uh, an underrated two-way player. Bledsoe wows you with his offense, but he's also made the all-defensive first team. Olenek has the open look, and once again, off the mark by Charlotte. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. And they pick up two. <laughs> uh -oh. Davis has got ten points in the game. <laughs> Get Anthony Davis in transition before the defense can set up. It gives him a lot of options. Culver with it. Now Anthony defending. Pass to Rogier. Puts up a three. Bazemore grabs the miss. Rare you'll see him miss such an open look. Stolen by Winslow. Here's the teardrop. Anthony Davis yeah, grabs the miss. Davis has got rebound number seven for him tonight. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. He's got 12. The fans are loving it right now. AD has been incredible tonight. And so it's the Los Angeles Lakers. 13 points up at the end of the period.
They've been putting on a clinic in the paint. Shots are falling with regularity, and they are pounding it down low. And now let's catch up with David Aldridge, who's standing by from the sideline. All right, Dave. Thanks, Kevin. Man, uh, Russell, what's the most the important yeah, thing for you offensively so far? Some guys doing a good job of that tonight. Just try to come out and give my team some energy. Russell, thanks, man. Appreciate it. Back to you, Kevin. All right, David, thank you. And stay with us, folks. We'll be back just after halftime to get the third quarter started. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was a big-time first quarter from Anthony Davis. He had 12 points, 7 rebounds, and 1 block. And taking a look at the Lakers, Shaq, what'd you think? Love what we've seen from AD. Comfortable and assertive on the offensive end. Defense has to figure them out when they're in trouble. This kid has it all. Kenny, what was your takeaway on Charlotte? It looked like they were shooting threes blindfolded. Sometimes you could get cold, but that was atrocious. It was scary. But they also looked scattered out there, and I think that disorganization was the main issue for them missing those shots. They need to establish themselves better, get to a better rhythm in the second half, and avoid relying so heavily on the three-point shot. And it's just about time now for the third quarter to get underway. After a very lopsided first half, we'll see if things play out a little more evenly here in the second. Hornets trail by 13, taking a look at the Lakers. The forwards are LeBron and Davis. Russell Westbrook out there with Bryant, and it's Deadman in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Now here's Terry. He's got six, and he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Greg, 11 years for you in the NBA, you had to have some favorite players that you played the sides and with. You know, it's a great call, and, and there were a ton of them. Uh, a, a few guys, though, well, so Gary Payton, I got a, took a chance to play with Gary for a year and have known him. When, when in your face, bro. In high school, and, and it's really about his personality. This is a guy that constant chatter, practice on the court, that's what fed his confidence. Charles Oakley, another guy, he, he would run through a wall or through you to win a game. And then Scottie Pippen later in my career, just a winner and somebody who I competed against for many years but didn't have any opportunity to play with up close. Uh, I got a, a greater appreciation for his skill set. And so here's Charlotte after Westbrook's mystery. Hits the three-point bomb. Bosh has got six. I just love how Bosch has worked in the three-point shot, stretching the floor with his perimeter game. Outside Bryant, there's the triple. Rebounded by Gafford. Gafford's got four rebounds in this game. Tipped away, and the foul called on Russell Westbrook. That is his first foul of the game. Let's take another look at the Great staunch block. defense during that mobile one block. And and block. Those are plays that get you in front and keep you in front. Here's the general, James Cullen. It's almost like he's trying to make things hard on himself. You know, he's just got to slow the game down, try to get some easy ones. Bosch passes to the general, and Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That's his third foul of the game. And still early in the period, and they're only one foul away from being over the limit. Outside Terry. He gets hauled in by Los Angeles. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. After this game wraps up, they're off to Atlanta where they'll take on the Hawks. Puts them squarely in the middle of this five-game road trip. I mean, LeBron is blessed with every physical advantage. I don't know how you stop him without power. And, and forget about the miss for a moment and focus on the fact that he's done a great job putting pressure on the defense. And so it's Terry bringing it up for the Hornets. It's a 13-point game. Five. 
Terry against Westbrook. Terry the pass to Trent. Three pointer. The Lakers with the rebound. LeBron's got his sixth rebound on the night. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Outside, Davis. Shot clock at six. And here's Bryant for three. Rebounded by Gafford. Hornets trail by 12. Yeah, this one. Terry outside. Hits it from three point range. Terry. Okay. Okay. keep shooting those shots. For Los Angeles, they've gone two of six from the field here in the third. Bounce pass for Westbrook. Bosch against Davis. Over Bosch. Davis can't get it to go. Very surprising. He gets the ball where he wants it in a decent matchup. Thank it's you. By Davis. Passes it to Westbrook. Knocked away. No foul. Come on. Terry with it. Westbrook picks him up. Here's Trent. 13 points in the game. Pass to Terry. Six to shoot. Wash has the pick for Terry. Top of the key. Oh, and that one has a right spin on it, and it is good. Terry's got 12 points in the game. Westbrook scanning the floor. Outside, Kobe. LeBron outside. He takes it in. Oh, did you see that? Respect LeBron showing the artistry oh that other God, players LeBron. could only dream of. Gordon Hayward's checked in for the Lakers. Anthony comes in for Russell Westbrook. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Lakers. Anytime you get as many points from the paint as they have, you know you've got a good thing going. Yeah, but, but they also never seem to get cold from mid-range. Just kept hitting those shots with consistency. Now, here's Rogier. Knocks it loose on the pass to Keith. No good from outside. Lakers leading by 10. Here's Bryant. Oh my goodness! Did you see what that a play! Oh. Unbelievable! Okay. Yeah, love seeing Bryant just get Sit up down and go forward. His leaping ability never on. ceases to impress. Astro Linick. Come on, I think the third no high good. Rozier with the ball. A three. Bryant with the rebound. And now Anthony pushing it up. No one back to stop him. And it's Anthony with the jam. And his competitiveness showing through. That's an aggressive My mom says He cool. is just unwilling to settle. He gets right to the rim and makes sure they come away with points. Count that bucket. I'll tell you, Culver has an array of moves once he gets into the paint. The drive by James. Another one. A bad idea <laughs> to run the old pick play. Uh-uh, you're uh, right. And if it produces a slam like that, we'll probably see more flopper, of flopper, Especially if the defense is going to allow you to do it. Have to switch on that play. Winslow's checked in, and the Lakers also making a switch. Horton Tucker's checked in. You look at James, what a contribution. You know, he's been a one-man record crew down low. His consistent scoring has dictated the pace of this game. We'll see if they decide to front him, bring a quick wow, double, or maybe it. even both to try to slow him down. 
Here's James. It's tipped. When a block body for Minga. Fast break now for Charlotte. Culver's shot is off. Los Angeles leading by 12. And the dunk by James. LeBron is having himself a game. Staying aggressive, playing with a lot of force. Si and for Pero kung tumulo yung left na yun, may tawag yun. You can't forget about his defense. Still an elite level defender who guards multiple positions and turns away a number of shots. And here comes Hayward, leading the fast break. Kicks it out to LeBron. A minute 20 left to play in the third. And the shot is good. Muscle. James has got 10 points now, just in this quarter. And Davis gets a lot of blocks without getting in foul trouble. About a one-to-one -one ratio for him in his career. Uh, incredible. And he's done a great job of learning how to go straight up, playing vertical. Gets blocks, but doesn't get pulled out of position. Does everything you want from a defensive anchor. You like that he's still attacking, but the results tonight just haven't been there. <laughs> Over Rosie, and it's coming easy for them right wow. now. Five baskets in a row in the paint. Still Horton Tucker, the pass to Anthony. High post, Davis. He's against Olenek. Back to LeBron. Hey, yo, right here. That's tipped. <laughs> LeBron. 23 seconds left in the third quarter. To the paint. And Davis sends it back. What a play by Anthony Davis. You think you can get it over me? Nope. Not on my watch. James kicks to Hayward. Good. And the assist goes to James. Hayward's got his second bucket of the night. Another good play. This is how they built the lead. Calling on the right guys at the right time. The reason why they stayed aggressive and they have not let up this entire night. And at this point, I wouldn't expect them to. <laughs> and so it's LeBron James <laughs> making things happen for Los Angeles. He got into double digits for the quarter with 10 points total. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. And let's go back to a terrific pass that we're calling tonight our State Farm Assist of the Game. And, you know, you can always count on him for at least a couple of these pretty assists over the course of a game. And this one, a thing of beauty. You see why they trust him with the ball in his hands. He can make the simple play, and he can pull off the spectacular. And as we head into the fourth, we'll see if there's a comeback in the works or if it's more of the same from the first three quarters. We've got Terry, also Terry Rozier out there. And it's Gafford in at the five spot. So that's the Hornets five. Hornets trail by 20. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. And it's been said that history is written by the victor. Certainly holds true in sports, don't you think, Greg? And with that in mind, do you think titles are overvalued when evaluating the great players, individual players in history? You know, Kevin, I, I think so. Uh, having said that, I think championships do matter, obviously. And in the NBA, in basketball in general, one guy can have more impact, right? Because you only play five and you play both ways. So uh, it, it does have something to say, but I don't think that can be the scenario. Bro. You know, there are some tremendously talented Again, Kobe guys. would never Carl pass Malone, that. Elgin Baylor, Patrick Ewing, Allen Iverson, a lot of greats who never won it. Uh, would have found a way to, to get through that the measuring two on one has to situation in the whole picture. All the famers, all of them. But and the layup's good off the glass. And boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing: he's a guy who will go on hot streak for you over a number of games. Now here's Kobe. G right on him. Just tried to shoot. Bank shot. No good. And so it's Terry bringing it up for the Hornets. They've played a great fourth quarter defensively, following only three points. 
and being that Bosch is 6'11", dunking comes easy. And, and once he's this close to the basket, he's ready to attack. Here's Westbrook. It's rebounded by Charlotte. Bosch has got six rebounds now in the game. Terry against Anthony. No one near Rozier as he lets it fly. Mm -hmm. Knocks down the three ball. Sometimes it's all about patience. His first three of the Thank you, Danielle, for the like. Appreciate that. Game, Appreciate that. Something to build on. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. Here's Westbrook. There's the drive. Here's Dedman. Out to Hayward. Now here's Terry. Down low. Here's Bosch. Oh, nice with one. the block. Anthony, the pass to Bryant. Over Trent. The damn shot is long. Just not there from a rhythm standpoint right now. It's really eluding him. And Terry up top, covered by Anthony. Anthony with the block. And that's out of bounds. Charlotte will retain possession. And some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis, he's checked in for Hayward. And it's Kent Bazemore in for Anthony. Well, if you're just tuning in, welcome. We've got about three and a half minutes gone here in the fourth quarter. Six on the shot clock. Great D that time from Davis. Los Angeles leading by 16. Ball stolen. And Kobe Bryant gets the whistle that time. That will get him his fourth foul of the game. Hornets have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Terry looking over the floor. Ogier for the three. Got a piece of it. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason. Egren, come on, bro. The free throw drops for Kobe. The general is checked in for Charlotte. Both shots good from the stripe. And they didn't shoot it very well from the line in the first half, but they've gotten much better since halftime, and it's helped them to secure the lead. The kick out to Bosch for three. The Lakers with the rebound. Earlier, they held a 23-point lead. Yeah, come on. That's his fifth, bro. Come on. That's just his first turnover of the night. What a steady, efficient game he's played thus far. Los Angeles making a switch here. James has checked in. Here's Trent. Passes it to the general. Here's Gafford. Outside Bosch. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle mm -hmm. for him scoring mm -hmm. the ball. Los Angeles leading by 18. Right side, Davis. Outside, Westbrook. Back to Davis. Bosch grabs the miss. He goes up strong, but he is met with resistance. I think that surprised him a little bit. Trent gets the bucket. The ball movement on this score has been back on until now. The only the only scorer. They've been able to get these good looks. Outside Westbrook. Pass to Davis. Now here's Kobe. Step back shot, and he nails the jumper. Bryant's got Kobe, four bro. this quarter. And you can tell the defender not anticipating the step back. He was headed in the opposite direction. To the right side. And stolen by James. It's Westbrook with the drive. Good. Hey, and the assist goes yeah. to LeBron. James has got <laughs> his third assist on the night. Hornets trail by 19. Trent passes to Terry. Here's Trent. Fires for three. 
Ai, não trouxe isso não. Tá bom pra <laughs> it's over, Kobe. Thank you, Kobe. Thank you, Quincy, for the like again. Thank you, thank you. Um, we we do have a goal. Um, if you guys follow the page, uh, we are aiming for a hundred followers for the page. That way, we get to level up on Facebook Live. That way, we can upload um higher definition, higher. Uh, graph, uh, higher, higher quality videos or live streams in the future. Um, so yeah. Quincy, a uh, 2K camera. Um, it's too easy for me when I play on 2K camera. Um, I. That's why I try to stay away with 2K camera. It's too easy for me. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. And even with Hall of Fame on 2K21, like it's too easy. Um, that's why I, I like a little bit of challenge. Um, defense is very easy in 2K, so, like in 2K camera, so, that's why I play on broadcast generic, and I just zoom it out a little bit. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, 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 the heat. Player Quincy Hawks. There you go. And the sad thing about the camera is in 2K22, they removed almost all the options for the camera. I don't know if it's just... I don't know if that's like a glitch or something, but it's only 2K, the real camera that they added on 2K21. And then there's like one more. And I think that was it. That was all the camera option, which I don't know why they need to remove some those stuff in there. 
offensive player who's skilled with the athleticism, you have a chance to be dominant. And then also defensively, you can be a rim protector, on ball defender. So the athletic component to it is certainly an ingredient for success in today's game. So let's take a look at the Los Angeles Lakers go, Devin. starting lineup. Devin, Devin. LeBron is the three with Davis in at the four. Kobe Bryant is some of the rookies are like crazy. Like they're the five, down low, not generated Boyd. by. They, they're, I mean, they're generated by the game. So if you don't recognize anyone, those are like rookies from this seat. Westbrook against Collins kicks it out to Bryant. What a fine! What a fine! Come on! They put up a nice win against Chicago last time out. They were lights out from beyond the arc, and they spaced the floor beautifully in that one. There's all kind of talk in the game today about stretching the floor, because when you do that, everything else just becomes a little Yeah, because ever since, I've been playing with the 2K camera, and I mean, most of the time, it's not even competitive anymore when I'm playing with the CPU. So this way, uh, I want to... Get a good shot just, I mean, and this is like my second favorite I mean, that's game, so that's why I play it this way. Um, sometimes I, I slip on defense, which I like. I don't, I don't need to be perfect. A 14 so. point game for him in the win against Chicago. Here's Westbrook. No, that was bad. No good. So Atlanta will take it the other way. I wasn't expecting to be open now. Alexander Walker. Rebound, Anthony Davis. The Lakers have gone two for five to start today's game. Well, when you watch Anthony and Davis one. play, Graham, he just moves like someone only half his size. Think about this, B.A. He has the gait and quickness of a guard. And, of course, everyone knows that he was a point guard well into his high school career. But he grew almost a foot in a few years and became the player he is today. You look at LeBron James, he's truly a remarkable talent. And every season he seems to add something else to his game. It's been fun watching him, and I'm not sure how Fair much yeah. longer we're going to see him at this level. Oh, what a fun. And then it's oh. Collins with the dunk. That was a quick one. Nice timing on these jumps. He's somewhat on the small side for a power forward, but he just never gives up. Now here's Bryant, hovering around 19 and a half points a game. His scoring has been huge for them. With the fadeaway. That one misses. He's one for three. The fadeaway was the right shot there because it got his attempt away from the defender. But the touch was poor. And Young, here we go. And no, 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 blocked no. by Davis. Davis so good with his timing and length. And there we go. Shot. <laughs> oh, just an artful little reverse slam. Mm, power and style. That was sweet. Outstanding awareness and a terrific finish. Now here's Young. Offensively, he's been a force. He's putting up around 19 points a game. What a foul? So it'll be two free no. throws. He was Come fouled on. in the act of shooting. First one falls for him. Mamutiku. And so he hits both. What the hell is that The Lakers in the lead. Pass to James. in the layup James has got five points you know really impossible to know what James is thinking in advance I mean especially in these sets young the pass to Collins here's Alexander Walker covered by Bryant Collins mm -hmm. and then it's Collins with the dunk need to do more than that to keep him from getting the ball in the post exactly I mean deny him the ball in the first place don't let him get it pass to James Yes, sir. Oh, and it's Bryant so picking up the assist. He's got seven. Always nice to see Bryant find the open man. He gets so much attention on himself. That helps create opportunities for other guys. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is, too. Westbrook outside. Here's Davis. What a find. Let's go. Davis puts it down with a authority. Oh, the team is just Love going the wild about it. Man, that was impressive. Now here's Young. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. 
Time called here. The Hawks decide to talk it over. And with the All Star break quickly approaching, now LeBron is playing. Including us what? <laughs> oh my God! What is happening? With reading you? and probably grabbing my golf clubs in a warm weather spot away from Central <laughs> Ohio. If I was afforded that luxury. Dude, I have LeBron and Curry in fantasy. Right, he's gonna be good. Right, he's gonna be good. <laughs> Let's go. to change it up and as we're halfway through the season let's see how the power rankings are shaking out you look at the nuggets they slipped a bit still in the top 10 though seeing where los angeles is they've proven most people right an outstanding team a squad that's going to be very difficult to knock out now here's van vliet 15 in the van last vliet. outing young the pass to collins Collected by Anthony Davis. The Lakers have got six of ten attempts to fall. James outside. Hayward outside. From the arc. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. And I tell you what, guys, I think that's the best part of James's game. And he's got a lot of good parts, but his vision is otherworldly. And what an aggressive move to the rim. He's really trying to fire up his teammates right now. Boy, it's not hard to feel inspired after a teammate makes that kind of finish. Yeah, you know, when you're looking to close the gap, you need guys who will take it upon themselves oh, to step up, take the initiative, and make something happen. <laughs> yeah, their offense looking like a well-oiled machine. Yeah, shots falling off to a very good start offensively as a result. Now here's Young looking for his first basket still Get in that one right here. But they recover it. Target from three point range. The Lakers have got eight out of 12 shots to fall. And one. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. There are very few that can handle I wish they could integrate the technical inside. fouls into K. Okay, really no. That would be awesome. Like, that would be so nice funny touch. to see. Like, pe like players just getting good. technicals, you know? I think there should be. I think they can do it where you can do emotes or like good. reactions er, to every play. You know, you like people, case, he's the best player in the I mean, Davis not just the, really the bench, I guess. Like, like you could you could have an option where you could have Chicago, the bench be really loud. You could have the option and where oh, yeah. you would it. argue oh, the ref, and then like you know those stuff. Here's James. Pass to Bryant. And then Bryant with the dunk. Man, lead. So far, they're owning both ends of the floor. We'll see if they can keep this going. And you know, they should add that in the next two K. If the they still haven't gotten if you're on that side like uh, the if they, they could, they don't have any then. other way to do technical fouls, then possession. I don't know what they want. Score by the Lakers. Because that's like a crucial thing in every game too, Down or the technical the fouls. Like they added a Can't challenge calls, and I appreciate that. Like, that. Why can't they do Rebound technical the fouls? And so, they have the technology. In terms of Pretty clear. Oh, you jump? You jump? You jump, bro? So you jump? Right from the start. What were you rich? What were you yeah, trying right. to do about there? Easing into the game, they came out with guns blazing. Oh, Here's Walker. The Lakers getting their Kimba. last shot to go. Kimba. It's going to be on LeBron. Kimba. That's his first foul. And now let's revisit that exceptional mobile Boom. one block. 
You know, it, it appears they're determined to add to the lead. Get Not that shit out of here. That was like a spike in volleyball. That form that he did. <laughs> it was like a spike. A minute nine left to play in the first quarter. Johnson. Rebound collected Get that by out of here. <laughs> it's in the rim. Davis has got four rebounds now. Anthony finds Davis. Back to Anthony. Pass to Bledsoe. Davis down low. That shot off. And Atlanta will go the other way with it. Here's Johnson. Van Vliet outside. 32 seconds left in the first. Oh, nice finish from the low block. That was good. Nah, don't play no in defensive too. pressure at all. I mean, that's not going to get it done against him. Pass to Horton Tucker. Anthony outside. Outside Davis. Back to Anthony. Dali mo pa yun sa Side Walker. Nope. And that's not gonna go. And a double digit lead on the scoreboard as we end the first <coughs> quarter of play. Lakers ahead, up 11. And the second quarter about to get started. We'll be back in a moment. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. Guys, the Lakers enjoying a nice lead here. Great offensive energy in that period. They're clearly on a mission. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. On the court for the Lakers, Russell Westbrook out there with Eric Bledsoe. Then there's Gordon Hayward. And it's Horton Tucker in at the three. Small forward. Oh, denied by Hayward. Great you shit, have to credit Hayward. their effort. I mean, they've done an amazing job on the glass. Plan. And it's been a well-rounded performance. I mean, strong rebound, and it's certainly been, at, been at, the, at the center of it. But it's been good on a number of levels. Now here's Warren in his last outing with 12 points. And he gets that one. Well, really hard to stop Warren when he gets moving downhill. I mean, he's got a really strong body. And he also has a pretty tight handle, too. Westbrook against Young. What a pass. And that one's good. That makes him two for three. And the defense has no one to blame but themselves. I mean, they just let him get right to the rim. You know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less. Young against Westbrook. Now here's Young. He's closely he guarded. Excellent D there from Westbrook. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Yeah, Excellent need there from in the West Brook. For Atlanta, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. Here's Young. And he hits it. That makes him one for six for the game. They just look so overwhelmed inside. You know, that's why they continue to get attacked. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness. If they don't, things are just going to get worse from here. Now here's Westbrook. Coming off a 12-point game. And it's blocked by Jeff Collins. You can't sleep on Collins' long arms. Long call, he's defending you. Still like there, like I would face the ref right there. Give me a technical, man. I love That's it. That's the kind of dunk right there that makes you think he's going to rip down the rim. Now that is some real industrial size strength right there. Hayward for three. And again, no good by the Lakers. against Collins. It Get that shit out of here. They're doing strong work on the glass. A plus five advantage for them. And guys, you know that rebounding is a huge Get part that out of a huge here. component cool. of winning games. It's not a glamour stat, but it's necessary if you're going to be a winning team. <laughs> Attacking the rim with power. Tremendous finish. Really piling on the lead with a dunk like that. Now here's Young. 
It'll go on Aaron sub, sub, sub. Let's go. That's his first foul. Well, Grant, you've seen the NBA from just about every angle. As a player, a broadcaster, and now an owner. Has your perspective changed over the years about the NBA? You know, B.A., my perspective definitely has changed. For so long, you only saw things through the lens of being a player. Uh, now, as a broadcaster working with you and in ownership, you see a whole different side to the league. I understand the business aspect, the incredibly difficult decisions that the league has to make, but also each individual franchise. Uh, it's not as easy as maybe I thought it was as a player, but I certainly have a healthy respect for the incredible decisions that are involved in this game. Young from oh. long range. Oh, He's got it. Okay. Just two of seven from the field, though. So hard to challenge these shots. I mean, especially against the better shooters. James, outside. From the high post. Pass to Westbrook. Six on the shot clock. That's his second foul of the and one Not okay a big deal yet. block the foul. something to keep an eye on <laughs> and that one falls for Westbrook hey making history is part of Russell Westbrook's DNA remember when he averaged a triple double for three seasons in a row Davis he's checked in for the Lakers and so he's able to get one of two outside pass to young Ooh, plenty of oh come on challenge that challenge that that's a block people were worried that this would slow the action down but with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was smart to adopt this challenge policy in 2019. You know, one thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. So they see clear evidence of a bad call, and they're going to overturn it. Probably the right decision. Yo, <laughs> see? See, it works. It works, man. No, no. Nobody likes to say they got it wrong, but they fixed it in a hurry. And no good. Nice rebound. Trying to match the other team's intensity right now. And that's a good place to start. And one? Try to find your way back into this game. <laughs> to work on the glass. And he drops a first. And it's a completely new group for the Hawks. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. Both free throws good from Davis. Atlanta's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Timeout, timeout. timeout called, the Hawks. And now that they have some time to get a little bit of rest, it's time for these players to regroup while hydrating themselves with some Gatorade, looking to gain a boost of energy as they continue to play in this Yago, game. Yago, thank you for the like, man. Thank you for the like. Again, if you, I mean, if you don't mind, like, you could give a call to the page. Um, we are doing, we are having a goal of having a hundred followers to get to level up status on facebook that way we can stream in higher quality we can upload in higher quality i do that's actually really what i wanted to do with facebook live so i appreciate if you're part of that uh, if you can please support like that so appreciate that I can't wait. Hope you guys are enjoying the stream as well. Point, like, we're going to keep doing this until I die. Kemba. No, 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 Kemba. But this year already promises plenty of standout performances. And Kobe. This is going to be a dunk contest you don't want to miss. Let's go. Bryant pulls up so easily and efficiently off the dribble. Fantastic at scoring in rhythm. Hey, you can cross me all you want, Kemba. But you ain't getting out of there alive. That thing. Bryant outside. And he lobs it up to the <laughs> Trying to go for a lob there. Oh, well, Excellent defense saw that. and anticipation to stop it. Pass to Johnson. Well, the Hawks again cannot hit it. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout. Hey. They've really been strong on the glass. <laughs> and he knocks 
down the first one. Well, now that we've had uh, time here to evaluate, what are your thoughts on the NBA replay system, Grant? Well, I know the replay system, B.A., has had some mixed reviews, particularly when we stop action during the course of the game to go through this whole process of reviewing. But I think in this era that we're in, where there's so much information, social media, technology, being transparent like the NBA is, making sure that every call is right, particularly in the end of games where it's... Oh, oh, man. oh my! Throw it down! Mad at slam at home, always looking to stuff with style. Atlanta calls timeout. Mm -hmm. Failing to find a rhythm offensively. Something mm -hmm. that needs to change and change soon. I, I think drink my this coffee, timeout, man. guys, is where I you draw up some cold. plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shot. Yeah, it's cold. Why? <laughs> Keep forgetting. It's all good, though. Homemade Starbucks coffee. Let's go. It's February. Let's see how things are shaping up in the East. You take a look at the Hawks. So far, this hasn't been the season they were hoping for. And time is of the essence. Well, right now for the Hawks, they really have failed to deliver this year. Even when they do get a little something going, it never just seems to be enough. And when you talk about inconsistency, I think a lot of it has to go to the players because ultimately they're the ones that dictate how they perform. Bryant outside. And he's going for the line. Oh, Stolen why away. didn't nice you run inside, the baby? Shoots. And that one hits the back iron. And right now they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with this. Yeah, double digit advantage <laughs> on the score. There we go. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. Davis, no good on that free throw. Atlanta's gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Driving inside. Yeah, good defense. And they're on the run. And Davis with the basket on the assist from Bryant. Bryant's got four assists in the game. We're up by 28th, second quarter. Outside. Gets it to drop. Now two of four. That's been the story of their offense so far. Getting a number of looks from point blank range. Brian against Van Vliet. Pass to Deadman. Got a piece ah. of it. Too slow. And here's Walker. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first points of the game. That has to be encouraging. Sinking one after missing his first five. Yeah, Walker seems unbothered by the defense. They're very creative with the rock in his hand. And here's Bryant, guarded by Van Vliet. Pass to Anthony. Back to Davis. Van Vliet against Bryant. Puts the move on. And it's good on the layup. <laughs> Bryant's got 15. Red sure lead, bro. Why do you keep jumping? <laughs> Why do you keep jumping, man? Here's Walker. Here he goes. Sinks it. Now two of seven on the night. That's an aspect of Walker's game that I like. I mean, his ability to use the dribble drive and score on the move. Nice. Here's Bazemore. And here's Bryant outside. Had it fallen, but it is offline. A dominating first half of play, and so far it hasn't been close. Let's Lakers ahead, it. up by 16. And don't go away. After the break, we'll see you right back here for the start of quarter number three. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Some incredible work in this one by Kobe Bryant. He ended up with 15 points, four assists, and one block. And let's get your thoughts, Kenny, on the Lakers. Well, it has been an electric performance. These guys were firing on all cylinders. They came out aggressive going after those rebounds, and they were piling it up. I think they wanted to send a message with their physicality, and they're going to be nearly impossible to stop if they're playing that way. And Shaq, 
How about what you saw from the Hawks? Well, the shooting was terrible. Uh, they didn't seem to have a plan at the offensive end. Let's see. The, the defense had them bottled up. Listen, I'm not a coach, but they need to change their strategy right away. Right now. Pronto. And that's going to do it for our halftime show, sadly. Third quarter about to start. See you again after the final. Horn. Oh, buzzer. And with the second half upon us, we'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Los Angeles has gotten three of their seven threes to find the net in this matchup. T.J. Warren out there with John Collins. Then it's Trey Young, and it's Alexander Walker in at the foul. shooting guard. So that's the lineup for Atlanta. Grant, you were part of one of the most legendary eras in Duke basketball. Now, when you reflect on that time, what stands out, man? Well, B.A., those were great times indeed, and a few things, I think, stick out. First of all, it was when we really made Duke basketball what it is today, gave us the foundation of this long-term success. Also, of course, too, the bonds, the brotherhood, the experience, the up and the downs that we went through collectively, all of that together are the things that I like to look back on and really reflect upon during those years. Here's Westbrook outside for Davis. That's good. Oh, that's and so Westbrook with the assist. Westbrook's got his third assist of the night. On offense, here are the Hawks. They trail by 18. Young against Westbrook. Here's Collins. Oh, Westbrook with yeah. a block. Hey, the athleticism of Westbrook not only on display offensively, he can throw shots out of there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, a nice defensive play to disrupt the lob. I was just hoping for someone to jump there. Young from long range, rebounded by the Lakers. Davis has got eight rebounds in the game. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. He's I mean, if they're to game. erase this deficit, he's got to step up. And just totally relentless, only increasing the intensity level. Yeah, I love the fact he doesn't play the score. He just keeps coming, attack mode. He doesn't know how to step off the gas pedal. It's going to be on LeBron James. That's foul number two for him. Hayward, he's checked in for the Lakers. Right around a minute and a half played in the third quarter. For three, Warren. Rebound, the Lakers. Westbrook's got a rebound, number five. Oh, oh wow. my goodness. Come on now. That's disrespectful. It never gets old seeing LeBron throw it down. Oh, no. And with no foul calls, do it bro. With a little flavor. Now a timeout called by Atlanta. Things just aren't going their way. Man. He clearly wants to talk it over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. That's a foul, man. It's either a blocking or an offensive foul, but there was no foul foul. Disrespectful. Here's Alexander Walker giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. He did the same play. Missing. He had more than enough room to hit that, just couldn't make it happen. Over. You know, that's track. one of the reasons LeBron is so hard to defend. He puts you in a tough spot, forces you to foul him because he's so strong and athletic, and then he gets himself to the line. The first free throw is good. Both shots good from the strike. Into the third. Two minutes in now. Young, the pass to Collins. Westbrook against Young. Pass to Alexander Walker. Back to Young. You don't want to shoot. shoot. Will it go? Mm -hmm. Rebounded by the Lakers. He didn't make them pay for that weak defense, but they just can't rely on him to miss those kind of shots. Hayward, left side. I mean, it's stolen uh, by Warren. That was Davis. Uh, that was Davis. He was a power forward. A little over two and a half minutes was, off yeah. the clock in this final half of play. 
Young against Westbrook. Shoots from the line. And once again, off the mark by Atlanta. They've shown the power inside. Their rebounding effort has been sensational. Guys, that's putting it mildly. I mean, they've been absolutely dominant. James attacking. Oh, and the jam by James. They've been very well-rounded and extremely Ooh. focused. Almost no holes in their performance tonight. They've been tremendous. Offensively, it's been a struggle for them. Yeah, they need to string together some shots to have any kind of chance. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Count it good. <laughs> Warren's got six. You know, I like seeing Warren do work inside. He might be a three-point shooter, most known for that, but he's still 6'8". You got to do some work in the paint. Westbrook, the pass to Davis. Collins with the rebound. Collins has got rebound number eight now. Pass to Young. The three is up. James with the rebound. James has got his fifth rebound in this one. After hitting one three in the first half, he's been unable to dial in from deep since then. Young against Westbrook. And here is Hayward. Outside for Davis. Another shot. Hey. He'll head to the line for two. And man, looking good from the line so far this half. 100% since halftime. Come on now. I'm not sure this lead's going away anytime soon with that kind of marksmanship. Van Vliet's checked in for the Hawks. Anthony's checked in for the Lakers. You know, Grant, with the pace of the game today, we know speed kills. In your mind, who's the fastest player going into end? And that's a tough one right there, B.A. There's some great players in the open floor with the basketball. I think of John Morant, uh, Russell Westbrook, uh, Kimball Walker. But I have to go <laughs> with Donovan Spider Mitchell. So good, so fast, so effective. Here's Westbrook. Oh, okay, let's go. Time running down on the shot clock. Let's go, Westbrook. He has seven. Late in the, clock, the ball in Russell Westbrook's hands. You can rest we easy. Wait. Here's Van Vliet. Drives to the hoop. Uneasy, too, on the layup. If the defender is giving him that much space, the points are inevitable. On offense, here are the Lakers. They're on a 15-6 run. Here's Anthony. Count that one. And Anthony's got five ball. points. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. And the Hawks shooting about 35% so far in this game. Here's Van Vliet. And it's ah, good. Fair. Two points. Well, you certainly can't fault him as the reason they're behind. He's been on target and on top of his game. Davis with a screen on Young. Westbrook, the pass to Hayward. Three-pointer, Anthony. Rebound by Van Vliet. Van Vliet. Outside Warren. Collins outside. Pass to Young. There's the drive. And nope. it's blocked by Davis. You know, he just has not been himself this period. Just Van Vliet. consistent up and down at the offensive Van end. Van Vliet. Boy, that's how Russell Westbrook going Got for the the right again. A little extra pizzazz. There's a minute 54 left to play in the third quarter here. Here's Young. Seven points in the game. Uh, the inside. Uh, miss. The kick out to Van Vliet. Van Vliet. That one's good, and it's Young with the assist. Mm. Young's got three assists now in this one. Intelligent ball movement. The offense looking one step ahead there. The Lakers have gone seven of ten here in the second half. Westbrook outside. Into the lane. Pass to Hayward. Back to Westbrook. Wide open look. He can't Come get on, that Westbrook. one to fall. And it'll be the Hawks taking it the other way. Now here's Collins. Van Vliet outside. Young with it. Van Vliet, what were you doing, Van Vliet? 18 feet out. And it falls all over the rim and in. 
Young's got four points this quarter. We can't forget about Young's in-between game. When he notices these shots are open, he's so good at taking them. Westbrook. Here's Davis. And finished off by Davis. Making the most of a second chance opportunity. Hey, the hustle is real, and the hustle is rewarded. Guys, it's all about persistence on the offensive glass. You just can't ever give up on a play. Here's Walker. There's 31 seconds left in the third quarter. It's rebounded by Dedman. The Lakers have gone 8 of 13 in the second half. Here's Bledsoe. Anthony finds Davis. Davis drawing the double team. And the bucket is good. Davis has got 19 points. When Davis gets going like this, there's no way you can stop him. Giving you his entire Game package ball. right now. Pass to Collins. Just three on the clock. And he can't get that one. And three quarters of play in the books. This one's all but over already. The Lakers on top, delivering the blowout. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm Assist of the Game. Woo, I'm fired up to see this dish one more time. It's always great to see your two guards share the wealth. Yeah, platinum level dime drop in there, fellas. Accurate and on time. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. And so in the game for the Lakers, they've got Eric Bledsoe, Markeith Morris out there with James Johnson. <laughs> And it's James in at the point guard position. Walker against Bledsoe. And there's the foul. It'll go on Kimball Walker. That's his first foul of the game. And this kind of selflessness is great to see. Textbook positioning to draw the charge. More. Heads up action there. Reading the play and then beating him to the spot. Well done. James finds Morris. And it's off from three-point range. Well, the Hawks shooting around 35% for the game. Here's Johnson. Blocked! Bledsoe outside. With the drive. It's James on the wing. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Well, Grant, one area where we've seen great advancement is how we're seeing injuries treated. The rehabbing of these injuries and the speed in which players are coming yeah, back. Yeah, because this is going to be our last game to remember really going to play tonight. So, might as well bring out the starters. You know, the, the short time like this. Years, uh, the advancement uh, in, in not only treating injuries, but preventative measures so you don't get hurt. And, and so... Uh, teams now, whether it's load management, understanding the importance of nutrition, rest, recovery, all of these things factor in to the sophistication level now no that's applied to players. And so, in a way, I wish I was 25 right now in today's NBA uh, with all the technology and uh, sophistication available to teams. To the paint. Get out of here. Pass to Johnson. Three-pointer. Rebounded by the Lakers. For three, James. <laughs> that shot off the mark. That? That was the way off. Nothing to fall in this fourth quarter. 0 of 5. And we're about two minutes into the fourth here. Here's Johnson. Checked by James. And out of bounds, the Lakers will take it. Brown, he's checked in for Johnson. And the Lakers also making a change. Westbrook's checked in. Here's Westbrook. 
the real and big things. Wow. To the NBA All Star format in 2020. You were on the call of that game. What was your take on the new setup? The new setup worked to perfection. And I have to, I have to admit, BA, I was a little bit nervous and a little skeptical about this new format, but it worked. The players were competitive in the fourth quarter. The fans in the arena, the broadcasters, people at home, everybody was on the edge of their seat watching this uh, battle go back and forth where ultimately Team LeBron's team won the game. Uh, I'll tell you what, though. It speaks about the NBA's willingness to be creative, to be innovative, and not be stuck in so-called tradition uh, as the game has evolved and changed through the years. So kudos to the NBA, but also to the players for making it a memorable All-Star weekend. Something that's here to stay. I agree. And the foul on Anthony Davis. That's his first foul. Atlanta's gone 0 for 3 here in the fourth. Pounded by Westbrook. Driving in. No. Okay. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. <laughs> well, I think that man caught him off guard, but he showed us board hands, too. The Lakers dominating the game. Here in the fourth quarter, their defense has been very strong. No baskets allowed. Left side, Davis. Ooh, he's found his rhythm. Seven for ten and counting. Offense has been hard to come by so far. A much-needed bucket right there. <laughs> yeah, it's been a defensive battle, to say the least, partner. Good to see at least somebody got the ball in the basket. Finally. It's the fire he's playing with that has him leading the team in rebounds. And I tell you what, guys, nobody's oh, been more this went, game than he has. That went he in has for been Westbrook. a glass Damn. eater. You know, pretty much anybody can hit that shot when they're that wide open. I mean, terrible defense. Pass to Lyles. Tries to snap the no, goal really? streak. Rebound by you the Lakers. Shooting? Davis has got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. And the basket by Westbrook. Westbrook's got 11 points here in the second half. Well, part of the game plan was to neutralize the crowd. Hey, guess what? Mission accomplished. And what's been impressive is that it's not been any one player. It's been a collective effort, contributions from everybody. It's James on the wing. Ah, and the lob LeBron. disrupted. Not to be. Pass to Lyles. <laughs> that's their only on the play, triple. bro. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. Boy, you got to love that assist by LeBron. <coughs> and the Hawks with possession here. Well, we've heard discussions around the league. They may be really, shortening bro? seasons, Greg, <laughs> but how about shortening games? You know, we saw that in the bubble in the exhibition games where they went to 10 minute quarters. Whoa, slow down here. Look, VA, I am all about shortening the season. The season is definitely uh, very long and taxing on players. Uh, and I'm all about evolving and being innovative as our game continues to grow. But shortening games, no. 48 minutes, you must keep it there. I'm a firm believer that you must keep the games at 48 minutes. Brown with the steal. From outside the arc, it's rebounded by Deadman. This has not been his best quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. <laughs> no, they're going to get it. Too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And the Hawks making a change here. Johnson's checked in. Here's Westbrook. Good. And he's hit 8 of 14 now. A solid offensive performance. Westbrook so good at maintaining control, even though he plays at high speed and with great aggressiveness. Pounded by Westbrook. Pass to Lyles. Out to the wing. Let's it go from deep. And Bazemore pulls it down. 
He's trying to force his way into a rhythm, but that's not helping the team. Yay. That was a Brooks tough shot, bro. Now in the quarter. You know, one of the things you have to do to try to stop Westbrook is get physical with him. Bumping, slowing down some, especially on drives where he's looking to go right downhill, down your throat. Sends it home from three-point land. Could have been much better defense. I mean, you can't give this guy any room to operate. the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis. 80. <laughs> He's been unguardable in this one, getting whatever he wants out there. He's just simply putting the offense on his back and delivering. You know, some guys aren't the same player on the road. Not this guy. He loves sticking it to an opposing crowd, and it only adds fuel to his fire. James, outside. Rebounded by the Hawks. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. It's safe to say they have dominated this game. The game wasn't even as close as the score says. Oh, come win on. For the Lakers. And the yeah. disparity in the talent was obvious by the end. Sometimes you just don't have enough ammunition to compete. Yeah, B.A., just a total beatdown. And the next time these teams meet, <laughs> I can't imagine it'll be any different. Pass to Davis. And Davis oh. slams it home. <laughs> He's right mad in that one. The right basketball play, James, is excellent at that. And Atlanta shooting around 33%. Not the best offensive efficiency. Now here's Hernan Gomez. Defense right on him. Here's Lyles. This one for three. Drops in the three. Yeah, he recognized the overcommitment by the defense there and then Three. made a smart pass to get that ball back outside. Outside for Davis. Takes the three. And Davis gets oh, the go. Oh, he got it. By Westbrook. Oh, and wow. guys, that's got to be the dagger. This is how you finish a game. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback? Diminished. They set the pick. Knocked loose. Pass to Johnson. Shot clock at six. Here's Lyles. Shoots over Davis. And misses it off the right side of the rim. Bryant with it. Takes a three. And the Lakers hit again from deep. <laughs> they really came in with the right mindset today. I can guarantee you they're playing oh, the no. with some smiles. Yep, to have a stress. Oh no. Very satisfying. The they gave up, bro. <laughs> He's a living highlight reel. Oh my god. That was a one way to one end it, bro. I love that. I love that. <clears throat> Without question, a crowd pleaser to the tenth degree. <laughs> Destroyed the land of here. Boy, that should be the headline. By the way, their team was dismantled. Now, shocked and surprised. It doesn't matter what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to just waltz in and cruise to the type of victory like we saw tonight. Yeah, that about wraps see it some up. Yeah, for Ali LaForge, yeah, Mark oh, Kellogg, yeah, and Grant Hill. This is awesome. Brian Anderson saying thank you for watching the NBA. Block. Brought to you by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Close third from Trey <laughs> Oh, Van Lee, you poor soul. <laughs> you poor soul. Jeez, AD, man. Jumpers, jumpers, jumpers. So yeah, thank you again for everyone who joined the stream. Watch the stream. Um, we played Avengers earlier today, and then we moved on to NBA.
I appreciate you guys for sticking around. I appreciate everyone who uh who pressed the like button. Um, everyone who followed the page, I really appreciate the support, guys. I appreciate that so much. And with that, we are gonna be done for today. Um, to uh, today, today, today. Thank you guys for joining me. Have a good night.